Hello guys! In this video, I'll be teaching you how you can fold a snowman designed by Maurice Turquet. I'm pretty sure you know who is he. He is the person who designed Shirpinski gaskets. Um, I talked a lot about him in my previous videos and uh, he's one of the best origami designers in the whole world and he's certainly my favorite origami designer. Uh, he's just brilliant basically. Uh, he's the guy who designed Sunflower, uh, Steam Automobile, uh, Sunflower, Clone Trooper, Star Destroyers, all these cool models. And I recently got a permission to make tutorials of his models and this is the first model I'm going to teach you. Um, it's one of his earlier designs and it was taught at some workshop and someone posted a picture on the internet of this model and I was able to figure out how to fold it just from picture. So it's reverse engineered and then later I uh, showed him the crease pattern and he confirmed that it's correct. So yeah, that's it. So let's start folding. Um, the paper I'll be using in this video is uh, Kami paper and you can buy it at the origami shop. I'll post the link in the video description. And I recommend um, blue and white or any color, any double sided paper that has white because snowman is white. So, well, let me take a nicer sheet. This one has a couple of folds. This one perhaps. Okay. So, let's start folding. Um, since we want snowman to be white, um, start with the white side up. So, fold paper horizontally in half, like this. unfold and now fold vertically. I'll just rotate the paper this way because it's easier to fold at least for me. Just like this. Okay, now do the blends base. Blends base is just this. You fold all the corners, you bring all the corners to the center of the paper. So here's the first corner The second one, third one, and the last, the fourth one. You might have tiny gaps in between, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now hold it like this in this diamond shape, and now turn around. And as you can see, we have a square. So we're going to do a fish base now. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know what's a fish base. So the fish base is going to look like this. Okay? So hold the paper this way. And now fold this flap like this so that you release this flap. And now you just align this edge over here um, with this crease. So let's do it. Like this. Now don't fold all the way, just fold up to this point, okay? And now make a mountain fold along this line, like this, release the flap, and now just fold this edge to the crease. I'll just rotate the paper this way. Okay, and now just pull the flap up upwards like this and now we're going to repeat the same thing on the left side so first of all fold like this to release the flap and now do the 22.5 degrees crease like this make a mountain fold along this line release the flap and then just crease the paper crease here and fold this flap upwards. You can also fold it down and then you'll just have to rotate the paper. Okay, like this. So now rotate the paper this way so that the flaps are facing down. You can also fold them up again, it doesn't matter. So I'll just fold it like this, okay? So now fold this edge to this crease. Like that. Okay, so now fold this edge to this crease. Like this. 
Okay, so now, what's next? Now, you have to hold these two flaps like this and then make a mountain fold a lot like this. Um, you're just basically lifting the paper up in the air and then just making a fold like that. Hopefully that makes sense. So, or you can just turn around and fold this up, it doesn't matter. Okay, so when you have this, fold this flap to the right, or to the left actually, and now fold this edge to this crease. Now I'll just write the paper, like that. Okay, so now we are going to do cre crease very sharply. You can use a bone folder as well. Now the reason why you should crease sharply is because we'll be doing a sink. And not a regular sink, but a spread sink. So hold this flap like this, and then hold this one with your right hand, and now pull the paper like this. And now as you can see, we've created some creases, and you want to make a mountain fold along this line, along this line, and then we'll make another mountain fold in just a second. But first, do this. Okay, so once you have something like that, hold like this, and now I just pull the paper in each direction, and then make a new crease right over here. So you're creating this triangle. Okay, and now put your finger and just push a little bit by creating a mount uh, valley fold here. And now you're going to fold this edges uh, to this crease. You're just basically folding this down and the creases will form automatically. Like that. Okay? Like this. Okay, and then just fold it up. Now we're going to fold this one to the right. And now take this flap and fold it to the right. Well, before that, we need to fold it like this. Okay, so fold it to the right. And repeat the same thing. So, just complete the steps. First, fold this edge to the crease. And now do the spread sink. I'll do it a little bit faster. Just like that, and now do the crease, this extra crease, and now just flatten the paper by creating two more valley folds. And now fold this to the left. Okay, so now we have something like this. It doesn't really look like a snowman. So now we'll be doing, as you can see, in this part. Um, it's white, so now we're going to do this color change, and we'll do that by folding this flap to this point. Okay? And now, hold this with your fingers, like that, and now we're going to open this, and as you can see there are two more creases on each side, and do the mountain fold along this crease and along this crease. Okay, so we have something like this. So now just try to collapse the model like that. As you can see I'm just holding with my fingers here and then I'm trying to collapse like this. I'm just making two more creases here. Okay, and now you're going to make a valley fold along this line so you're just folding this whole thing down make sure the crease ends right here and I'm also folding this up and this should make the crease that goes from this point to here well actually from this point to the to the bottom corner like that so now let's repeat the same thing here. So do the crease and now just fold the whole thing like that. Now you may notice that this crease ends perfectly at this point. The reason for that is is because this line is 22.5 and the whole model is based on this 
on 22.5 degree angles and uh, everything fits perfectly together. Okay, so now what you have to do is fold this up and then we're going to do a reverse fold along this crease. So you're going to, oh, or maybe not, no, 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 or we have to do it. Um, whoa, kind of forgot. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We don't have to do anything according to the crisp pattern. I'm also looking at the crisp pattern at the same time, and uh, this is what we need to have. So everything is good. So now let's just continue. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit because we'll be doing a head now. So fold this two flaps down like this. I'll use a bone folder if I can find it just to flatten this have this unique looking bone folder right now and now we're going to do a couple of tricky folds um, you're going to take this flap with your finger here and then we're going to create a crease um, well we're going to create a couple of weird looking creases um, go going from this point so I'll try to explain this as best as I can. As you can see, we have um, one crease over here, and then we have another crease over here. So what you want to do is make a bisector along this angle. So make a mountain fold along this crease and, and just fold it um, to the other crease. Now, while we are making the mountain fold, we are opening this, this area a little bit. and. Uh, so as you fold this down, hopefully this makes sense, uh, here is a mountain fold and then here is a crease. So I'm doing the bisector and I'm just making a fold there. Like this, okay? So let's do it again. It's just a mountain fold over here and there is a valley fold there and when doing that you create another extra crease over here okay so now fold this flap down and then do the reverse fold along that line so you're just making a mountain fold along this crease okay and then just fold and now all you have to do is uh, fold this like that. Okay. And then do the mountain fold here. And then fold it this way. <laughs> okay, that looked weird. If you manage to do this, you can for sure complete this model. I'll do it on the other side and go through all the steps again because those are some tricky folds and tricky references. Okay, so you have something like this. Um, so let's do the same thing here. So as I said, we are making a bisector of this angle. So you're basically creating a crease that goes here. And you're creating that crease by making a mountain fold here and doing a valley fold here. So let's just do it again. So make sure you're doing everything on this flap. You don't want to go here and now uh, make folds there. That's wrong. So do the mountain fold there. Like that. And then do the that bisector fold. Okay, like that, and then just make that new crease. So now you're folding this flap down, you're doing the reverse fold like this. It's important that we have this angle like that, and then you're folding this to the right, making a mountain fold here, and then folding this whole thing. Well, this whole edge uh, to this imaginary crease, I guess. 
Now as you can see, we have something like that. Now this one looks a lot better than the previous one, so give me a second. I'll, I'll just work a little bit more on the first one I did. Okay, this looks good. And uh, so we have something like this now. Okay, so this is going to be a nose. And now what you have to do is take this flap and just put it here. So we are just locking the model. Okay? You can put it either in that pocket or in the one behind it. Preferably in the one behind it because it's going to lock the model. Like that. So let me just zoom in. Zoom out actually. Okay, so we have something like this. As you can see, it looks pretty close to this. So we have to um, make the mountain fold along. As you can see, we have edge that goes here and then it hits this edge. So now we're going to make the line that goes from this point to this point. So I'll just do that in the air, like that. Make a sharp crease. Okay. And now turn around and then make another crease there along the same line. Okay. And now fold that down. And now I'm going to fold it up. Um, now how much? I guess about this much. This is going to be the head. So I want my head to be this big. So I'll just make a crease. You can always adjust it. So you can make it shorter. You can make it larger. Well, smaller actually. And but my head will be this big. Okay. So, now let's work on eyes. So, you're going to unfold this and uh, well, let's make it a bit smaller. Okay, something like this. Well, this is aesthetic, so it's up to you. So, now fold this up. Now we're going to make uh, two more creases. The crease goes from this point and ends right here. So you're making a crease like this. You're making the mountain fold along this line at the same time. Like that. You're taking this and then you're pulling it out. And then just making the crease. Okay, so now let's do the same thing over here. You can use tweezers. You have a small paper. Okay, and now I just fold down. As you can see, I'm holding this flap and I'm closing in the same time. And I'm having a control over it. Okay, there we go. I use bone folder and go over it. And we have something like this. So now we're going to do the eyes. I'm going to use wizards here. If you have a larger paper, you don't have to use them. But we're going to fold um, this edge to this edge, like this. Okay, and now we're going to do the squash fold. So let me just put the scissor there, and then fold like this, fold down like that. And I guess if you want to have bigger eyes, you can just take this flap and just pull it upwards a little bit, like that. Okay. And now, let me just zoom in. Come on. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit. Okay.
Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, now you can. So I'm going to take a twizzer and then make a crease here and then fold this up. So I'm just shaping an eyeball now. So just fold this up like this. And now I'm going to just flatten. As you can see, I want to have more round shape. So, this is up to you actually. Um, you can also leave it. Okay, so this looks good. So, now we're going to repeat the same thing over here. So, I'll just do it now. So, fold like this first. And now I have to do that. Squash hole. Not that good with those twizzers, but so it takes some time to do this. Okay, and now do the squash fold like this, and I should bring this up a little bit like that. Okay, uh, looks okay, I guess. And now let's just pull this up. Sorry, okay, like that. So it's the same thing as put it in the other right. Okay. okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I have decent decent looking eye and I guess we can just do complete the hat. Okay, looks good. Previous one looks better. Okay, but anyway, so I won't deal, it, deal with it now. So, all we have to do now is uh, fold this flap down like this, I guess. Well, just fold it a little bit like that, make a small valley fold, and then fold it again. About, I don't know, about this much, I guess. This is okay, this is up to you. Okay, and now I'm going to make a fold from this point here. Uh, but bef yeah, so just make the fold like that. As you can see, we have another flap from behind, and uh, it might be a bit hard to make a fold there. So, like that. Up to this point, and Let's do it here as well. Let me see how does it look. Oh, okay, it looks good. Right. Okay, so now let's do some couple of more folds and we're done. Uh, first of all, Take this part and fold it behind. This is carf. So I'll fold fold it behind like this. This is also <laughs> up to you. I'll just fold it this much. Make the fold. You can also fold this one behind, but make sure that uh, you can't see this flap. So I'll just fold this. Well, this point needs to touch this point. So. You'll have something like this. Okay. And now fold this behind like that. Just make a mountain fold. And then do the same thing here. Uh, so make a mountain fold there and make sure that you, that you don't fold the scarf back. So as you can see, looks like that. And now um, you're done. You can do a couple of more folds. For example, one here, just to make it more round, since a snowball is a sphere. So it should look like a ball, I guess, or a sphere. So I'll just make a couple of more folds. Okay, it actually looks pretty good. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and 
yeah, stay tuned for more uh, Murisa case models. I think I'll be teaching this model next. Uh, it's a copyright sign. As you can see, here's the seat, and there's this is uh, around it. And yeah, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it if you like it. Um, it will mean a lot to me and Murisu as well. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.